Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Kimmy. If you're new here today, we are going to be doing episode 23 of Rags to Legacy with Kaiza. If you missed last episode, the twin girls age up. It was Serenity and Rivea. They aged up to children and I did get a comment on one of my previous videos to Rags to Legacy that I should be one of the boys and do a detective career or something. So I'm going to honor that comment because I try to include you guys as much as possible. And I don't want you guys to feel like I don't do what you comment. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. If I don't see the comment, I can't do it, obviously. Um, But yeah, the twins aged up. We got Serenity and Nevea, And we did a renovation for one of our family members over here. That little house right there. <laughs> And right now, we're just going to work on the boys, I guess. Because we don't know which one we're going to be. And they both got A's in school. But I'm going to let them age up on their own. Let's do a grand meal. I want to cook. Um, hmm. they're, they're all pretty good. They got enough money to do anything. So let's just do a ham dinner. Ham dinner sounds great. Not for me, though. I don't like ham. But they can have it. Maybe I should get the gnome off the tube. The counter. <laughs> Better cookies. There's a lot of children in this house. Okay, so I got in a fight with someone at school about which void critter is more powerful. I said it was Articorn, but they said it was Sunter. Which one is it? I think they're both equally powerful. Look at this, like a busy household grand meal thing. Call in the grand meal. Everyone can come eat. I really need to get a dinner table. I think, honestly, and all honestly, we need a dining room. Now we can all sit at this table and eat. That'll be great. All right, let's have this food here. The parents are going to sit on the ends. So you need to come and sit here. And you need to go and sit there. So all that's taken care of. And then everyone else can grab a plate. She didn't even grab the right plate. Girl. Girl, girl, girl. You don't listen. No. Grab a piece of this. I want you to come grab a piece of this. They're sitting there. The mama is going wherever she's going. Can you go sit with the family? That's the whole reason why I have you here. So. I think everyone's at the table. Okay. Great. That is a nightmare to get situated. They just don't want to work with me. <laughs> so. It looks like daddy is making a toast. So we're having Thanksgiving with our kiddos, and I was going to invite over Olivia and them, but one, we don't have enough space for everyone. Two, it's so late, by the time they get here, it'll be time for bed anyway, so we will invite them over to the next holiday, and we'll invite them over on Christmas and have Christmas dinner with them. A fabulous living room renovation, sure. And we'll just let the gnomes do their thing until we go to sleep. He goes to sleep. He goes to sleep. He goes to work in five hours. So let's have him go to bed. This one is Chris. Chris likes green. So Chris is going to go upstairs to sleep. His brother is in his bed. I hate when I assign their beds and they don't sleep in the right beds. That drives me up the wall. It really does. Okay. I also have to edit their room. So let me do a little quick redo here. All right, so I did a little simple little thing to their room. Nothing crazy or nothing. 
All right, what is her favorite color? It's driving me nuts. I can't remember. She likes brown. That's what I thought. And she likes blue, right? Yeah. So we will put this side as Serenity's. And this side as Rivea. And then we also need to work on some homework. Has she done hers? Did you do yours? You both did your homework. So we want you both to go to bed. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Are you going to sleep? You are not. But you will be because I'm going to send you to bed. My dear. Your brother here needs to go to bed too. Why are you guys not want to listen? It's creepy. So my child down here playing with a plant. Beautiful. Everyone's going to bed. And while they are sleeping, I'm going to put all this into Kaiza's inventory. Because there is a lot of these little packets all over the place. I literally think there's some in every single room. We're really going to have a big old bash on Christmas. Christmas is a big one. I think they should celebrate for sure. Any other little packets anywhere? Not that I could see, so I guess we're good. Let me also auto light this room too. Thank you. And now we're just gonna go to sleep. When's our gig? Friday at nine. Okay, so we do have the gig today. Harvest Fest is successful for everyone, which is great. Landon, you do work today, don't you? Yeah, in two hours. You're gonna have to wake up soon though. You're up at 3.30 in the morning to go to work at five. Yikes. I do not envy your job, my dear. Let's have you clear out the bad food in here, please. Do some handy work for us. Can you throw it out for us? Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Can you brew some coffee before work? All right, then you get that done. You gotta get up too. You go to work in four hours. Maybe she gets up and she gets to grab the coffee. He makes her coffee every morning. That's, that's the thing, you know? <laughs> Get some coffee. Oh. He, are you gonna go to work? Okay, great. And then she goes around and cleans up after him. Just to make sure it's all done. She cleans it all up and she empties this pot of coffee and goes to use the bathroom. And then at 7 o'clock, she'll wake up to, well, maybe at 6 30, maybe. She'll go wake up any kids that's not up, that is. Notification wall full. School starts in about an hour. Awesome. Uh, of course. Didn't expect nothing less. Alright, let's go upstairs and let's wake up her and wake up him. Wake up the little beans for school. Time to wake up. And wake him up before he... Uh, okay, he's already up. But never mind. All right, so we're gonna see the kids off for school while she goes take a shower. Oopsie. All right, her job is coming in an hour and she stinks. Okay, she needs to take a shower. Take a quick shower, please. And I need you to come and vote on action plan. They're off to school. Which is great. We're gonna study hard. Have daddy o catch dangerously. Study hard, study hard, and study hard. And then we got everything already voted for, so we're good there. Let's see what skills we got working on. She's working on cooking and she's literally almost done, but she goes to work in like 30 minutes. So I'm not even gonna mess with that right now. Oh, I forgot about the gnomes out here. Okay. Um, put this in our inventory. I'm gonna sell all these other gnomes. That are not the ones from downstairs. There's a lot of stuff in this garden. Put these in there. Replace them all later. Ooh, we got some stuff to evolve. That sounds like it's fun. Let's go and work. Poor Landon. He gets home as soon as she goes to work. Like, they don't really get a lot of time together. So I really take advantage of the days off. We are going to be working. All right, so let's go and one, let's open up all this stuff. Just so I can get rid of what I don't want or need. So I'll be back when I'm done this. All right, so let's go and knock on the door in our outfit, of course. It's our must wear outfit. Let's knock on the door and let's see all the children. We got Chelsea Link. Show her how to fix up her crazy cat lady area. 
And she's showing me that. And you're showing me that. And you're gonna show me that. The poor thing didn't get a chance to do anything. Maybe I can have her change something. Alright. So we get two thousand dollars. They like photography and they like the violin, they like red, and they like white, but they hate the color black. So I have completed that part. Now it's time to go show you guys the thing I've done. So you walk in the front door and you're immediately hit with a brighter, more fresher update. Ignore that picture back there. It's supposed to have the whole family, but I have different mods to make different poses or whatever. But this is what I came up with. They like the color red. They don't want black and they like white. So I did red and white. I kept the cat tree. I kept one of the cat statues. They wanted photography and violin, so I gave them the violin, a tripod for pictures, pretend like they took that with it or something, a cat poster, because the mom loves cats, and a cat mirror, because the mom loves cats, and the litter box still there, nice good area. There's nothing like too fancy. I didn't want it to be extravagant because it's a single mom, it looks like, with three kids, so. Want to be on budget as well as not too crazy so we're gonna go back here and take our after photos do you like it that's who i'm trying to please i think she likes it she is obsessed with cats so isn't she she's even got a cat ear thing on and i got two thousand two hundred and eighty dollars and my stuff has improved so i'm making some money let's go home Ask my future plans. Do you tell me if you're having kids or not? I wish they tell you things. Like, I wish I get response out of these things. We got everything from a mailbox. Let's see what was in it. Some toys, basically. That's all I'm seeing. This is from the job, so we can get rid of that. We don't need that. But I will see you guys next week. Bye!